I mean, I don't really know what to say about it other than Salman Rushdie's the author that uh, the Ayatollah uh, put a fatwa on, like a death note, basically, okay? But way back in the day, because he wrote, like, uh, a novel about Satan. Here, I'll just give it to you like this. Earlier today. They've identified the suspect, suspect already. Identified as Haiti Matar, age 24, from Fairview, New Jersey. Uh, earlier today, at approximately 10.47 a.m., guest speakers Solomon Rushdie, age 75, and Ralph Henry Reese, age 73, had just arrived on stage at the institution. Uh, shortly thereafter, the suspect jumped onto the stage and attacked Mr. Rushdie, stabbing him at least once in the neck and at least once in the abdomen. Several members of the staff at the institution and audience members rushed the suspect and took him to the ground. And shortly thereafter, a trooper who was at the institution took the suspect into custody with the assistance of a Chautauqua County Sheriff's deputy. He said that if the Mr. Rushdie was provided medical treatment by a doctor who was in the audience until EMS arrived on scene. Uh, Mr. Rushdie was airlifted to a local trauma center and is still currently undergoing surgery. Uh, Mr. Reese was transported via ambulance to a local hospital and was treated for a facial injury and subsequently released. The state police are being assisted by the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office and the FBI in this investigation. We are also working with Chautauqua County DA Jason Schmidt, who will determine appropriate charges as the investigation continues and once we receive further information regarding the condition of Mr. Rushdie. Uh, at this time, I would like to uh, have Mr. Uh, President Hill come to the podium for a few words. Thank you. Chautauqua is a community of people of all faiths and none, and our collective family is holding Mr. Rushdie and Mr. Reese, as well as their family, close in prayer at this hour. Salman Rushdie's the author that uh, the Ayatollah uh, put a fatwa on, like a death note, basically, okay? But way back in the day, because he wrote, like, uh, a novel about Satan. And he had to go into hiding for a while, and then he fucking came back out of hiding. I mean, it's like, it's been so many fucking years. This was before I was born, even. And I'm ancient, right? So that's kind of wild that, like, that? these motherfuckers are still holding a grudge. Yeah, he was on Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's from uh, 89, 1989, yes. Uh, there was a Curb Your Enthusiasm episode about it. Like, they've... It, I thought it was, like, literally long gone, which is weird that they are um, still going after him. He wrote the Satanic Verses, which was about the life of Muhammad. I want to thank the New York State for police and all the other law, law enforcement personnel who were at Chautauqua today and responded within seconds. I have no idea what those words mean, bro. We're very grateful for their service always. What we experienced at Chautauqua today is an incident unlike anything in our nearly 150 year history. We were founded to bring people together in community to learn and in doing so to create solutions through action, to develop empathy and to take on intractable problems. Today now we're called to take on fear and the worst of all human traits hate. Our job right now, though, is to continue to support police and others, to be a resource for Mr. Rushdie and Mr. Reese's family, and to begin to imagine a pathway to healing. But be assured, we will return to our podiums and our pulpits at Chautauqua. We'll continue. This is like, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, it's, it's a ridiculous uh, situation. Like, obviously, it's really fucked up. But it, the, the funny part about it is, like, the Iranian people still fucking uh, caring about this is so ridiculous. It's like, it's like the dumb motherfuckers uh, like, that are like, I'll never forgive you, Jane Fonda. You know what I mean? It's like, why do you still care, bro? There are infinitely worse people that, like, impact your life as an Iranian citizen on a, on a very tangible and a daily basis. Why the fuck do you give a shit about some old washed-ass author, dude? Like, it's so stupid. Hanoi, Jane, I'll never forgive you. I know what you did. You know what I mean? What the fuck? This guy wasn't even fucking alive when the fatwa was, get, uh, was, was put out. 
Dude, there's a $3 million reward on his head? No, I thought it was like 500000 or something. ...you to convene the critical conversations that can help build empathy, obviously, which is now more important than ever. Thank you. Bro, don't people in Iran have bigger fish to fry, like more significant things to worry about? Like, uh, I don't know, Donald Trump ripping up the denuclearization agreement or getting the, the Iranian uh, royal guard out of the terror watch list? Who the fuck cares, dude? It just <laughs> homies are out there trying to live their lives. You know what I mean? But I guess the money is a good motivator. Food shortages, extreme drought, and lack of appropriate housing in Iran is much more important. Law. Yeah. We'll take a few questions. Um, obviously, this is uh, very early in the, in the investigation, and there's not a whole lot of information I'm going to be able to provide. I don't have any idea at this point. Like I said, it's very early. We don't have any indication of a motive at this time, but we are working with the FBI, the sheriff's office. In about 2017 or so, I think they interviewed the Ayatollah, and he reiterated that it was still active. The same year, one of the orgs donated like $350,000 to make it a $3 million bounty. That's what I remember. So fucking stupid, dude. And we will determine um, what the cause of this was or what the motive for this Listen. Hogs work in mysterious ways. But I'll tell you this much. Hogs are not exclusive to the United States of America, okay? You got Iranian hogs out there. There's plenty of fucking hogs in Iran, too. And what do they do? This is the type of shit that they do. Iran's Ayatollah Khomeini uh, praises the stabbing of Salman Rushdie and says, Fatwa against Satanic versus author was fired like a bullet that won't rest until it hits its target. As Islamic hardliners celebrate. Bro, you're such a fucking loser at this point. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What the fuck's wrong with these dudes, man? It took that's a slow ass bullet, first of all. 30 fucking years. Not exactly a good not exactly speedy. Sama Rushi 75 has been airlifted to a hospital after being stabbed up to 15 times, including once in the neck, at the literary fair in Chattaqua, New York. Rushdie wrote Satanic Verses, which resulted in a culture war being sparked in 1988 in Britain. He was issued a fatwa, a death threat, by Iran's Ayatollah Khomeini in February 1989. Iran's current leader, Ayatollah Ali Khomeini, reportedly said that the fatwa against Rushdie was fired like a bullet. They should have waited till uh, like 10 more years. This guy was going to die anyway. You know what I mean? What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Salman was caught lacking by the ops. Oh my god. Yeah, you should do like a like a what is it? rap.tv style fucking video. <laughs> Time the ultimate fatwa. Isn't that an attack on the US? Wait, what? What could the book possibly say over them to hate this motherfucker so bad? Sometimes you got to ask what made these people so mad. This is why atheists are the most oppressed class, by the way. Bitch, shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> you can't be annoying and then be like, well, I'm annoying and people are annoyed with me, okay? That's why atheists are the most depressed. Shut the fuck up, idiot. Yeah, Rushdie was the ultimate r slash atheist. But of course, the fatwa is ridiculous. They should have never fucking tried to kill him. I mean, I I'm a firm believer that you should be, you should be able to be fucking annoying uh, and, and not get stabbed 15 times. That's ridiculous. Rushdie 75 was attacked by Hadi Matar. 24, bro. 24. This person has no fucking clue. As he was being introduced at the stage for the CHQ 2022 event in Chattaqua near Buffalo in upstate New York on Friday morning, he was airlifted. Oh, he was a Bills fan, probably. Bills Mafia, baby. Bills Mafia, baby. <laughs> That's why he, he didn't disrespect Iran or the Muslim nation. He disrespected Bills Mafia. That's why he got stabbed 15 times. Um, it was issued a fatwa, as we already said. The book supposedly insulted the Prophet Muhammad and the Quran with Khomeini. Wait, what do you mean supposedly? <laughs> like, I mean, it did, right? <laughs> but like, who cares? Obviously, it's like ridiculous to fucking issue a death sentence over it. My man said supposedly. <laughs> oh, God.
Rushdie was a symbolic target because hardliners considered him an apostate because he was raised in a Muslim family but became a famous atheist, ex-Muslim, and critic of the religion. The fact the book was considered blasphemy was just extra. Yeah, I mean, dude, I'm, I'm sorry. Ex-Muslims are the most annoying fucking r slash atheists out there, okay? What is it? Uh, uh, what was the other one? God Saad is another one. Like, the, they're the worst. The absolute worst. Just straight up. Like, the, the ex-Muslim atheists are, uh, oh, my Lord. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're just so fucking whack, dude. They are so, they're so annoying. They spend their entire life. Uh, yeah, Ion Hersey Ali. They spend their entire life being the white man's lapdog, okay? They're like, we, we, we hate everybody. Uh, we hate all religions, but like, I will be the white Christian supremacist lapdog, please. Wait, isn't that what you are? No, motherfucker. I'm very chill about religion. I understand that people can't and should be allowed to believe in uh, dumb shit they want to believe in as long as they don't fucking it and weaponize it against people god isn't an ex-muslim no i'm thinking about um fuck it wasn't god sod no uh who am i thinking about there's another one there's a british one not god sod what's the british one majid nawaz yeah 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 majid nawaz oh my fucking god holy shit yeah I anyone that's like sam harris's friend exactly <sighs> um good to know that the guy that got routinely stabbed is whack and annoying sensible take lol I mean, I think you understand that I am obviously very much against stabbing a random fucking author, especially for a fatwa that was declared in 1989. Are you unironically saying that people who don't believe in what you're believing in is, are annoying? No, I'm saying you're annoying. I'm saying atheists are annoying. Like, out and about, online atheists, this community is 75% atheists, or even larger than that. I think it's like 78 now. And this community is incredibly annoying. So... It's a, it's yet a, yet further proof. Atheists love fucking living in America and claiming that like, oh man, it's like the most oppressed thing is to be an atheist. Um, they'll get really mad at me for saying this, but I remember that stung lock where people are actually serious. Yes, one hundred percent. Salman Rushdie is a pretentious asshole. I had to read all his published works for a class in college. I, he is, but like, he doesn't deserve to be fucking killed. That's insane. Aren't atheists most of your viewers? Yes. Yeah, 78% of this community is either atheist or agnostic. Point proven. So far, Iran has not officially commented on the attack against the author by Matar. Rushed the stage after approaching him from behind. It is believed that Matar is sympathetic to the Iranian regime and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard. But supporters of the government have praised the stabbing, saying that it is Khomeini's fatwa finally materializing into action 33 years later. Whack as fuck. Some said that they were hoping for the author who was knighted in 2007 in Britain for services to literature would die following the brutal attack. Others warned that those who considered an enemy to the Islamic Republic would suffer a similar fate as him. A quote reportedly from Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, the current Iranian leader, was shared online with him saying the fatwa against Rushdie was fired like a bullet that won't rest until it hits his target. This man is not going to be able to fucking pick up the, the money though. You know what I mean? Because he's going to jail now. While you bring up magic as something real, it sucks to be the killjoy that has to prove... Uh, point out that magic isn't real when you bring up something isn't real magic is something real um it's kind of like that yeah yeah you're like you're, you're literally the killjoy you are you're the party pooper you're a woke scold killjoy and it's annoying just keep it to yourself keep it to yourself people just you believe in dumb shit too everyone believes in dumb shit let people believe in dumb shit as long as they don't fucking try to use that dumb shit to like motivate your life or, you know, impact others around them. It's just so dumb. They do, though. Yeah, well, when they do, I get mad at them. Okay, so shut the fuck up. Yes, because religious people are well known for not doing that good one, guy. Overwhelming majority of religious people that are in your lives, you are even unaware of how religious they are. Because they don't fucking shove it in your goddamn face all the goddamn time. Shut the fuck up. Okay? You are personally... You're personally thinking of every fucking dumb conservative or every dumb religious person who is up your fucking asshole about religion and constantly fucking chirping like, blah, 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 I will save you. Salvation is upon you. All those hypocritical, annoying fucks are, are now the person that you are thinking of whenever you think of how religious people are. Just shut up. It's just people, people have stupid beliefs. Everyone has stupid fucking beliefs. Your idea that you are going to somehow proselytize atheism to a bunch of people who've been indoctrinated into religion their entire lives by being the most annoying person is a dumb belief in and of itself. Like, you think if you put on the fucking fedora and go tip, 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 m'lady, 
with your r slash atheism you think that these motherfuckers that are praying five times a day or these motherfuckers that are tithing these motherfuckers have been going to a church and maybe even have doubts about religion itself but are at least like finding some level of comfort and security in in uh you know closing all the holes that they have uh, problems closing because science hasn't addressed it you think those you think those guys are going to change their minds you're just annoying they're just more annoyed with you now that's it I don't like your take. Sorry. I know because this community is aggressively internet, aggressively online and aggressively atheist and fucking, uh, and agnostic. And every time we bring this shit up, people lose their fucking minds. I come from a Muslim background. I come from a Muslim country living in America. You are never going to fucking convince me that these dumb Sam Harris, Richard Dawkins, like, uh, you know, all these fucking dickhead uh, annoying, uh, anti, anti day, uh, anti theist atheists are, are not actually causing more issues and they're changing fucking people's minds. They might've changed your mind. So you, now you agree with them, but you, but they also f fed a lot, a fuckload of, uh, uh, weird propaganda into your brain. And it's like hard for you to shake that off. Be normal. What do I always say? Be fucking normal. Clearly, it's not a fucking accident that my community is 78% atheist or agnostic. You, you think about that? Ignore the ultra online woke school idiots as a good take. Yeah, it's just so fucking whack. I'm not even a remotely spiritual person, by the way. It just fucking pisses me off when I see people losing their fucking minds, okay, about uh, religious people. This is not one of those instances, of course. This is a psycho, okay? This is psychotic, obviously. But there is a reason why uh, so many people know exactly who the fuck I'm talking about when I talk about militant, militant atheism. You're vegans, dude. You're fucking annoying. Shut the fuck up. You're not saving the world. Uh, most people grow out of this attitude, I find. Yes, I know. Everyone goes through it. Everyone who's like a, everyone who's an atheist uh, is, uh, will, will have like a militant atheism phase, okay? That, that's just a given. But a lot, of, a lot of you have not grown out of it for some reason. <laughs> Atheists in bed moaning like, oh, my science. <laughs> I can't say I want to be normal, but I don't agree that people win by aggressively pushing any idea. Are you saying we can't change stupid? I just got here a while. Sorry, I'm not ultra online or whatever. Do yourself religiously. Don't, just don't be a shitter 32-year-old mom. Like, I, I literally spent an hour shitting on uh, reverts and converts. Like, yesterday. Or was it yesterday? I spent a fucking hour making fun of, like, all those weirdos who were like, I'm a tradcast. I make fun of fucking Muslim reverts all the time. Born again Christians, all this shit. You know what my position on this is. It's such a weird thing to be like, I've been fucking bullied my entire life by religious zealots. So I basically became one. But for atheism. And those motherfuckers have institutional backing. You don't. So you're just being annoying into a fucking, into the void, basically. <laughs> It's the fault of Will Smith. Chat forgetting that churches do a majority of social work in this country because of their hateful hog evangelical mother hurt their feelings. I mean, there's like hella fucking hateful hog evangelicals that also then end up doing uh, social work. As the system is fundamentally broken. The problem is, like I said, and I, I've mentioned this so many times, religion is ideology. It's a weapon. Okay, it can be used for good, like the abolitionist movement, Martin Luther King, or it can be used for evil. Okay, liberation theology is an example of good religion. And the justification for slavery, also found uh, within Christian doctrine, is an example of bad religion. Okay, it's just a tool. But some of you guys are incredibly sheltered and refuse to I recognize say, that, I like, saw. a big chunk of the fucking planet still have these ideas and they're not as inherently hostile towards them as you are. And if you want to build, like, an internationalist perspective, an internationalist movement... Or if you want to be more understanding of others and empathize with the, with the way that they've grown up, you have to also allow them to believe in shit that you don't believe in. As long as they are not hurting solidarity, as long as they're not using their religious beliefs to, to personally fucking turn around and abuse uh, marginalized people further. And there are plenty of people who do that. And those people are fucking wrong. And they can suck my dick. It's popular, bro. You're just annoying. Great take. It's true. And that's the beautiful part about it, though. No matter what I say, you might think you're like the most supremely fucking logical being, right? On the planet. And you're like, well, I live my life in this rational, logical way. You're never going to win out on this fucking battle of propagandizing your personal uh, perspective. Because you're, uh, you are. You are literally 
an incredibly annoying person, no one will agree with you for the rest of your fucking life. Even if you might, like, I probably agree with you on some shit. But you're so fucking annoying that it's, like, impossible for you to, to ever manage to get your point across. Especially in the black community, the church is a huge space for us to just be black and practice our culture. Obviously, there's problems with homophobia, transphobia, but that's not my point. Yeah. You describe atheists the same way you describe online leftists? Yeah, because it's true. Because I know them well, and I fucking despise them. Same with the online left, and same with atheists. Because I agree with a lot of their fucking worldview, and I still end up hating them. I have so much disdain in my fucking heart. And a lot of those online leftists are atheists, too. Because they just can't be fucking normal. One of the, one of the things that I try to preach, if there's a gospel of Hasanabi, the number one doctrine is be fucking normal. Okay? Be fucking normal! But you can't. Y'all are like fucking vegans, dude. In this moment, I am euphoric. Not because of any phony God's blessings, but because I am enlightened by my intelligence. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Pop off. What? When chat is normal and not annoying as hell. So essentially offline chat, we are so kind and always answer questions. <sighs> Take the vegan slander and the bison out of your mouth because you are not prepared for what's coming. I found a sponsor for Azan U3 Beyond Meat. Oh my fucking God. Don't do it, Austin Ox. Don't fucking do it. I just started dating a Persian girl. Can you cover the Bolton story real quick um, so I can look fucking smart in front of her? Is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in the chat. Um, followed closely by, at the top of the hour, if you run the ad break and I'm not subscribed, will I still be able to avoid the ads? No.